Welcome to the video guide showing third-party solution integration with iNELS. The main goal is to focus on smart home control combining various technologies. One of the most discussed topics will present third-party communication protocols used in automation. For instance, Modebus, BACnet, or MBUS to connect different solutions together. This is demonstrated on a selected example. For instance, Multimedia by Control 4 or switch control by ABB based on KNX protocol, and so on. The key part of the installation is a computer network used by the central unit CU3. Gateway ELAN RF, or by INELS air sensors, transmitting data over TCP IP protocol. To establish connection with third-party solutions, we recommend using connection server capable of creating a bridge between the INELS bus system and selected protocols KNX or Modebus in case that converter ELAN RS485-232 is present. Interconnection between exported devices allows transmission of useful data, such as device states. So for instance, INELS can get access to sensor readings of the ABB thermostat or send a command to switch or dim. This feature comes in handy when the user wishes to combine original units using the KNX protocol together with INELS relays and control them together. Let me show you now how an INELS glass switch button can control a KNX actuator. And conversely so, the KNX thermostat can control the INELS relay. Another interesting feature of Connection Server is to control Modebus devices through a data converter using the protocol Modebus RTU via port RS-485. Connection Server gets translated communication and the user gains access to air conditioning control by LG, Daikin, or Mitsubishi. The other devices using Modebus RTU can be accessed via ELAN API. The data converter can handle even more. Pre-programmed control templates of security systems Paradox and Yablotron allow the user to gain access to magnetic contacts, motion, or smoke detectors. INELs can also be interconnected with heat recovery systems by Air Pohoda, Kyrox, and Nilon. This means control over most used functions. A special case of integration is the battery-powered weather station MISOL and swimming pool technology by ASICO. A multimedia solution proposed by Control4 also takes place in Connection Server. Using the software driver, INELS can pass data to Control4, and the integrator can handle all the communication in the software tool called Composer, and get all scenarios and functions programmed as well. The Control4 central unit can switch any INELS relay, for instance, on or off. And vice versa, the INELS button can switch any control for relay. INELS can also handle processing feedback from Modebus over TCP IP using various platforms, such as Flowbox. This platform maintains connection between Modebus RTU or TCP IP gateway, such as the station VFACE BASIC, with random third-party thermostats. Before we get deeper into Flowbox, let us list HVAC control options within INELS. The user can utilize connection server and an RS-485 Ethernet converter by Intasysbox, CoolMasterNet, Elon RS-485-232, and so on. Each INELS button is capable of transmitting commands towards AC through CU3 and the converter using a bridge created by Connection Server. A video streaming option is covered as well. Connection Server can handle transmitting up to eight IP streams based on RTSP protocol. IP cameras, 
can be accessed after simple configuration made on the connection server side. It just requires a correct URL link of the RTSP stream and login credentials. The compatibility is not limited by brand, however, it just requires the support of the RTSP stream and having the snapshot feature enabled. Let me show you IP camera streams. Camera 1. Camera 2. Communications can be handled by the presence of an SIP server on the connection server side. The asterisk being incorporated in the software solution allows the user to create and maintain a contact list of devices capable of calling to each other using VOIP. Therefore, the user can make a call in both ways, from a smartphone, or LARA, to an intercom by 2N, Dahua, or Hikvision. The whole solution can work on any smartphone or tablet using the ITP 10-inch touchscreen running on Android. Let us focus on the third-party platform by Flowbox, which enables connection of a variety of communication protocols using one's own hardware controller and set of software drivers too. All the communication goes through serial ports RS-232, RS-485, and Ethernet interface, and this enables the user to get an all-in-one package covering monitoring, data analysis, and device control. The major benefit of the solution is clear GUI and overall simplicity. The whole solution works as a software module deployed on Linux distribution, and it projects data in various ways graphs, diagrams, data logs, or database files. The integrator is able to make connections among all iNOS technologies, BAS, RF, and AIR. This can be done based on a single GUI, which means customized triggering and monitoring at one place. Projecting of devices takes place in a so-called realm, in other words, the control dashboard, and each projected device is represented as the link to an exported device. And now I'll switch to Enel's bus. I can switch things on. I can dim them or brighten them. And it switches off. Now let's move from Inel's bus to Inel's RF. And here I have the white LED. I can increase it or decrease it. And it switches off. Now let me show you how to control, for instance, street lighting using Inel's Air. And we turn it on. And off. Thank you for watching this video, and you can find out more at the Elco EP website in the provided link.